Cholesterol, achieving healthy levels. Learning about the importance of healthy cholesterol levels. Brought to you by Merck Sharing Plow Pharmaceuticals. Why is it important to know about cholesterol? It's necessary to have some cholesterol in your body. In fact, cholesterol is an important part of a healthy body, and it plays an important role in many bodily functions. However, if certain types of cholesterol are too high, they can lead to health problems like a heart attack or stroke. First, let's look at what cholesterol really is. It's a fat-like substance found in your body. Much of the cholesterol in your blood is made by your own body. Some cholesterol comes from your diet as well. Your healthcare provider may mention three different kinds of fats that exist in the bloodstream. LDL, or bad cholesterol, HDL, or good cholesterol, and triglycerides. Why is LDL called bad cholesterol? If there's too much, it can build up and clog your arteries. HDL is called good cholesterol. It's called this because it helps remove some of the cholesterol that LDL leaves behind. Triglycerides are another type of fat. Most fat from food and most fat in the body exist as triglycerides. When you eat food, the calories that don't get used are converted to triglycerides and stored in fat cells. Cholesterol levels are said to be unhealthy when LDL levels are high and HDL levels are low. High levels of triglycerides are also unhealthy. Over time, unhealthy levels of these fats can cause buildup in the arteries. When cholesterol builds up in the arteries and hardens, it is called plaque. When plaque builds up in the arteries, it can reduce the flow of blood. Plaque can break open, which causes blood clots in the arteries, blocking the blood flow even more. When the blockage is in the arteries to the heart, this can cause a heart attack. When it is in the arteries to the brain, it can cause a stroke. Blockages in arteries to other parts of the body, such as the kidneys and legs, can also be dangerous. Now that you know what cholesterol is and why it can be dangerous, let's look into where it comes from and what you can do about it. One source of cholesterol is your diet. When you eat food, the body takes cholesterol and triglycerides and allows them to enter the blood. The other source of cholesterol is your own body. All cells make cholesterol, and the amount of cholesterol in your blood can depend on your family history. Since cholesterol comes from both food and your own body, both can contribute to unhealthy cholesterol levels. Making sure you have a healthy diet is an important way to achieve healthy cholesterol. Other strategies include exercising, controlling your weight, and stopping smoking. In addition to making all of these changes, your healthcare provider may also recommend that you take medicines to help reach healthy cholesterol levels. The different types of medicines that are available work in different ways. Some work in the body to decrease the body's own cholesterol production. Others lower the absorption of cholesterol from your diet. Both of these can reduce the amount of LDL cholesterol in your blood. Some medications, along with diet, exercise, and stopping smoking, can raise good cholesterol along with reducing bad cholesterol and triglycerides. Only your healthcare provider can decide which medicines, in addition to a healthy diet and exercise, are right for you. The next step is to talk to your healthcare provider about what you have learned. Together you will come up with a personalized plan for managing LDL, HDL, and triglyceride levels, and your healthcare provider will determine the appropriate treatment for you.